Hey YouTube, I have Scoots here, so I wanted to do a quick intro while I can, while he'll let me. I just want to say this was a condensed video. Oh, and I just wanted to add, if you can't tell already, I filmed this whole video by myself, so basically I held the camera with one hand and tried to feed everybody to the best of my abilities with the other. It's just enough detail to get to my brother-in-law so he can take care of my animals while I'm away. So this wasn't necessarily intended for YouTube, but I tried to put it in a format for everybody. <laughs> so you hear Cyrus in the background. I'm gonna let Scoot say bye. Bye. Now see with these guys, I wait for them to come to be right there at the edge because that's where they know they get fed. And I have, this is pretty dirty at this point, but I have tweezers in water. And then I go ahead and I take the worms out of here and I rinse them with the tweezers. So onto the bearded dragons. The tank gets pretty messy, so we're gonna clean that up first before feeding them. I'm just showing you everything I have out for them. So I lift Bigfoot up by his shoulder and I put him on the towel. That's what the towel is for. So I'm using some of this large cup of water to essentially keep the dirt in place. And this other cup of water has calcium in it and that's the water that I'll be giving exclusively to the bearded dragons with the syringe. And then next for the bearded dragons, I take off the big stems out of the leaves and I break it into little bite-sized pieces for them.
Even though I'm not including every part of everyone's feed, I did want to include that I do give them treats sometimes. Today I had an extra banana laying around. I believe I have some strawberries for next time. Sometimes it's fruit, sometimes it's vegetables, but the tortoises, the bearded dragons, and the hamster can all have banana. The hamster is asleep right now. I usually feed him at night, so he doesn't come out for this feed, but he'll get it when he wakes up and it'll be fine. I just wanted to add that I put these cricket boxes in both of the geckos so that's what they're going to be hunting. 